welcome back guys to another beer review. Next one up is another one from The Perfect Draft. Uh, it's from Jeanette and it's their organic fruit beer. Now, I've already tried doing this. Excuse me. Made a cock up on the pour. Uh, come, well, the pour was okay. Uh, made a cock up on the video. Excuse me again, my God. Uh, so I've had to start again. I've already done the pour, so we'll ignore the pour. And there we go. Jeanette Organic Fruit Beer. This is from the Perfect Draft, like I said. It's coming in at 4%. Uh, the keg was actually £32.50. Uh, take your discounts off and your five. Uh, you're probably looking around the £22, £23 mark for a six litre keg. Uh, is it good value? I suppose it's only good value if you like it. Uh, it's like all the beers really, isn't it? Uh, I've, pretty much most of them are going to be coming in or an awful lot of them are going to be coming in about £22. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I've done the pour. It was rather lively because it was the first pour, so I've taken a few sips out of it. So in a glass, it's very sort of... How can I say? It's very hazy. It's, uh, it's almost... I'm trying to think what bloody... Strawberry, raspberry kind of looking sort of thing to it. It's almost like a reddy, orange, peachy kind of colour in there. Uh, the head's looking... Uh, head hasn't really gone down much. Uh, I can't see any carbonation in there. I'm sure there is, but, you know, these hazy beers, that's what they look like. I mean, oh, there's a few bubbles coming up. But, I mean, it looks okay. Uh, certainly, the only other sort of fruit beer you got on the perfect draft is the Left Ruby. Now, I like that. Yeah, it's a bit sweet, but it's a really nice fruit beer. The Ho Garden, I find Ho Garden Rosé is too sweet, too sweet. The Left Ruby has a bit bit of beer about it. So I've tried the Ho Garden Rosé. Was that 3%? Uh, a bit too sweet. The Left Ruby, still sweet, but with the extra percentage, 5%, I think it is, 5.1 maybe. Uh, I really like that. So looking forward to trying this. So... Let's get a nose on it and see what we get. Yeah, that's tasting like uh, almost summer fruits, you know, like if you have a squash. Summer fruits, black currant, sort of squash, a strawberry squash drink. Just smells of squash, really. Uh, quite a diluted sort of squash smell, not like that real, you know, Sometimes if you make the old squash a bit too strong, it's real sweet and thingy. But for me, yeah, it's just tasting like squash. That's tasting, smelling like squash. But it smells nice enough, so uh, let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. It's pretty much tasting as you sort of expect there's almost uh the color i was looking for before was rhubarb it's looking very rhubarb -y. it's you're getting that taste but it's not really strong uh it's not a really strong sort of sweet taste that i was maybe expecting strawberry Black currant kind of thing in there. Now I've never had rhubarb, so maybe maybe there's a bit of rhubarb or something in this. I don't know, don't know. But it has got a little bit of a sort of a bit of a thin taste, if you know what I mean. Thin in the mouth, easy to drink. You are getting a hint of the fact that it's a beer. Uh, 4%, you're not getting any alcohol in now. I mean, you could you could down this bloody just willy-nilly, to be honest. Uh, it's quite refreshing. Wrong time of year to be having it now, obviously. Horrible, shitty, wet days. But for me, it lacks a little bit of flavour. Lacks a little bit more, how can I put it, depth. 
bit more body to it. Uh, like I say, I've had I've had the Ho Garden Rosé is is nice. It has the flavour. It has a bit more body to it for me, uh, but a little bit sweet. The Left Ruby, I really like that. I mean, that's that's a fruit beer. You can tell it's a beer. It's got a bit more body to it. It's got a bit more taste to it. This to me is tasting like a slightly over diluted squash, uh, where you've put that bit too much water in, and you, when you're craving that bit of sweetness, that taste, it's and you've put too much water in, you're like, oh, I'll just put a bit more squash in it. Uh, this is this is tasting like the diluted thing. Saying that, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, obviously. It's very drinkable. You're not getting any sign of the alcohol in there at all. But just lacks that bit of flavour. It's a, it's a thirst quencher. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if you want something easy to drink, if you want something that's not too strong, if you've got people in your house that like more of a fruity kind of drink, this is probably going to be for them, to be honest, because it, it's it's not the greatest beer, but it's certainly not disgusting. It's something I could drink quite easy, and it's going to be something I'm going to have to drink quite easy because I've got six litres over there, so uh, or six and three quarter, five and three quarters now. But yeah, I, I it's you know, it's 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 not the greatest fruit beer on the PD, but it ain't bad. It's drinkable. And certainly something different to have and certainly going to be all right in the summer. So uh, if you're thinking of getting it, just beware. A little bit thin on the flavour, a little bit thin on the body. But if you want something to chuck down your neck, this will do the job. I don't mind it. It's not the greatest, but I don't mind it and it's well drinkable. So if you've had this before, let me know what you think. Uh, like I say, I think it's okay. So... Uh, that's it, really. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, share my video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget all the beer no idea on YouTube, all the beer no idea on Facebook, all the beer no idea one on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, there will be. Uh, this is probably going to be my my last sort of uh, PD video for a little bit. Uh, I'm going away, uh, but I've also got the Pinter in the corner over there <laughs> uh, that's still brewing that's actually due now I could actually condition that now but I'm leave it for a day or two so I may, maybe I'll do it tomorrow or Friday and then condition it uh, it needs two days so it'll probably be tomorrow maybe so I could be back doing that one but that'll be the last of the PD ones I think certainly for a couple of weeks the pinter will probably be I'll probably do the conditioning video tomorrow, quite possibly, and a tasting on Sunday. So I'll do a review of that. And that will probably be it, unless I bang a few of my cans out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I haven't bored you too much. Apologies for the cock up on the pool. And I will see you soon. Very soon. <laughs> Cheers.